okay last time we took consumption as our target variable but now we shall take GDP as our target variable to run the vector error correction model so so uh, so oh, 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 we go to statistics to run it as before multivariate time series then vector error correction model right so this time I put GDP as the target variable or, or co-integrated uh, ration model GDP then I put uh, cons right so these are our variables and EX and others remain unchanged right others remain unchanged and uh, uh, I click on the OK to estimate the model so this is my outcome is coming up okay out of uh, all outcome so the first model actually our our er error correction model and this is our target model where GDP is the dependent variable that we want to check right and here are two issue one is long run causality as before and also short run causality as before right so we are two issue as before okay so first I talk about long run causality and you can see the this is our error correction term minus 2.64 right this is the er er error correction term it is minus 2.64 and this one is the probability and uh, here what is happening the probability value is very small less than 5% meaning that error correction term is significant and the sign is negative so and normally what happens when the coefficient is negative and also significant then we can say that there is a long run causality running from independent variable such as cons and export sorry such as cons and export to GDP meaning that consumption and export has influence on consumption in the long run right that means there is a long run causality running from consumption and export to uh, sorry that there, there, there is a uh, not, not this one sorry our target variable is here there is a long run causality running from consumption and export to our dependent variable which is GDP okay uh, then we check about short run causality right what about our short run causality and uh, and and already we know <coughs> that this is the GDP lag one GDP lag two 
right and this one so so the so the first turn is gdp lag 1 so this one is significant individually and this one gdp lag 2 also significant individually to influence our dependent variable which is d gdp and also here lag one of consumption is also significant and lag two of consumption this coefficient is also significant and here export lag one and lag two both are also significant because the probability value is less than 5% right so and and we uh, and and we we know already actually all these variable such as this one this one all these coefficient actually are short run coefficient right but this one is the error correction term but these are all short run coefficient right these are all short run coefficients okay okay now now we want to check whether there is a short run causality running from this independent variable or not that we want to check as before okay how to check it we follow the same procedure okay first I check whether our independent variable cons right has a short run causality to GDP or not that we check first right that means whether this lag one of consumption and lag two of consumption jointly can cause our dependent variable which is GDP that we check first as before so what I do as before I go to statistics then I go to the post estimation then I go to the test then I go to test linear hypothesis okay and I make it reset okay so I create a new uh, specification and coefficient here I put coefficient in specific equation at zero that I select and this time our target variable is D GDP right and first I want to check whether uh, <coughs> whether uh, cons whether the cons can uh, influence the GDP or not so this is the lag uh, this is the l lag one of cons and this is the lag two of cons and the null hypothesis is zero they are uh, e e equal to zero that I set right so they are zero the that is the null hypothesis they are zero so I click on ok and then also ok so here you can see 
that is the our hypothesis chi square value and the probability value is very small less than 5% meaning that we can reject the null hypothesis meaning that they are not zero right that means coefficient are not zero right we said the hypothesis here right the coefficient are not zero meaning that meaning that meaning that uh, so LD and L2D they are not zero meaning that there is a short run causality running from cons to GDP so that is the uh, that is the decision of this model okay then we check about EX right whether EX can cause GDP or not in the short run right so I proceed as before statistics then post estimations then test test linear hypothesis then I do it reset then create new one and coefficient in specific equation 0 I choose this one and I choose the our target variable is GDP and now the export right that means lag 1 of export and lag 2 of export right so then I okay then okay so that is the null hypothesis and we can reject it because probability value is very small less than 5% right is very small less than 5% so meaning that come here that is uh, the, so this is our model right and and, uh, and we saw that I just check the result again just double check yes uh, yes we can reject it that means they are not zero so I come back to our model GDP right and this is export the, this these two are not zero meaning that <laughs> there is a short run causality running from export to GDP so that is the decision of the model there is a short run causality running from EX which is called export to GDP right okay mm, and also we check whether this as a whole whether as a whole this model has autocorrelation or not and that is called diagnostic checking okay but 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 but, but what is that the, the decision here the decision is here there is a short run as well as long run causality running from consumption and export to GDP that is the decision of this model okay now we check about diagnostic checking right that means whether this whole as a whole model has autocorrelation or not so I go to statistics 
as before then I go to multivariate time series then I go to VC dot diagnostic test then I choose the LM test for residual autocorrelation I click on it and here I choose lag 2 right I click on it yes the result has come up so here I have taken lag 2 and the null is no autocorrelation at lag order so and it is the p value p value is very small less than 5% so we can reject the null hypothesis meaning that there is autocorrelation and that is not desirable so this model is not a good model because the model has autocorrelation so it is not a desirable model so we have to rerun the model we have to we have to fix this autocorrelation problem okay so the, uh, so then uh, we can check the whether the residuals are normally distributed or not so I go to statistics as before then I go to multivariate time series then VC diagnostic check then test for normal distributed right I choose I select this one then I select only Jarka Bera statistics, right? That I select, and the result is coming up. You can see the outcome, right? So here the judge, uh, Jarka Bera test equation. So, what about the first model having GDP? Uh, is the dependent variable and what is our null hypothesis the null hypothesis is the residual is normally distributed and that is desirable that is the null hypothesis residuals are normally distributed and here p value is 88.24% which is more than 5% so we cannot reject null hypothesis that means for this model where the for this model uh, that the residual is normally distributed what about the second model yes here the p value is 52.26% so we cannot reject null hypothesis meaning that residuals are normally distributed and third model also residuals are normally distributed and as a whole that means all as a whole as a whole the probability value is 84.29 percent right which is more than 5% meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that residuals are normally distributed so that is desirable and we, we like it but this model has only one problem and that is there is autocorrelation and we cannot accept the model having autocorrelation problem okay now okay now we have the third model so so the first time we put cons uh, as a uh, as the 
target variable and the second time we put GDP as a target variable now we shall put EX as a target variable right because we have three variables okay what I do I I, I, I make the whole thing clear so that we can make a new model so as before I go to statistics I go to multivariate time series and vector error correction model as before so this time I put EX first as a co-integration model and EX first then consumption then GDP right okay and here I put EX intentionally right as before so everything is set everything is uh, designed already so I can proceed with OK so the result is come up you can see all the outcomes okay and the first one actually our target model that is the vector error correction model and the first one is the is our target model because here uh, export is the dependent variable and actually the whole thing actually is called error correction model right error correction model and here we see the our uh, co-integrated e e equation one and our er error correction term is negative and also significant right it is negative and also significant meaning that there is a long run causality running from consumption and GDP to export so that is the long run matter because normally when the coefficient sign is negative and when it is significant then there is a long run causality running from <laughs> independent variable to dependent variable okay now we check about short run causality of consumption and GDP okay but we check uh, so these are all short run coefficient right we know it these are all short run coefficient and here we can see the first coefficient significant second coefficient is also individually significant to explain our dependent variable which is export EX and individually also this one uh, this one significant and this one is also significant individually because p value is only 1.5% 1.5% which is less than 5% so we can reject the null hypothesis easily and here is also the probability value is 1.1% which is less than 5% meaning that this variable GDP lag 1 is also significant okay that is uh, individually okay now we talk about short run causality okay first I talk about GDP right so as before I go to statistics and post estimation test test linear hypothesis 
okay I do it reset and create a new one as before I select this one what is our uh, target model DEX right okay the first first we choose the which one okay okay first we choose consumption whether consumption can can affect mm, uh, this thing or not okay if if I choose the consumption then I choose the lag one of consumption and lag two of consumption they are they are equal to zero right so that is our hypothesis setting so I click OK I click OK as before you can see the outcome result right this is the null hypothesis probability is very small less than 5% so we can easily reject the null hypothesis meaning that they are they are not zero right they are not zero right they are not zero meaning that meaning that I go back to my model so consumption that means LD and L2D are not zero they are not zero right meaning that there is a short run causality running from consumption to export right okay then I talk about our second in a uh, second uh, independent variable LD and L2D so they are zero or not as before I go to statistics and I go to post this estimation test linear hypothesis so I reset the whole things okay as before I select this one and equation is DEX and this time GDP right GDP lag 1 and GDP lag 2 right test this coefficient I whether they are 0 or not I click OK OK so that is the null hypothesis right the probability value is very small less than 5 percent so we can reject null hypothesis meaning that they are not zero right they are not zero meaning that that means uh, GDP lag 1 and GDP lag 2 they are not zero meaning that there is a short run causality running from GDP to export okay so what is the decision of this model in this model there is a long run as well as short run causality running from consumption and GDP to export okay okay then I check about the uh, di uh, diagnostic checking how is the model as a whole so as before I go to statistics multivariate time series VEC di uh, diagnostic test and I residual autocorrelation right so here I take lag 2 
and that is the outcome right that is the result there is the null hypothesis but at at lag 2 the p value is very small less than 5% the p value is very small so we can reject the null hypothesis meaning that this this model has autocorrelation so that means we cannot accept this model the model is not good from the statistical point of view right okay then we check what about the the whether the residual is normally distributed or not so i proceed in the same way test for normality right as before and here I choose the Charcabera statistics as before and here the Charcabera test right okay I take the all suppose and it is the null and it is the probability value what is our null hypothesis the null hypothesis is there is uh, the the residuals are normally distributed that is the null hypothesis and and here the our probability value is 53.48% which is more than 5% meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that residuals are normally distributed and that is desirable we are happy about it and also in our model which is uh, export you can see the probability value is 24.13% which is more than 5% so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that residuals are normally distributed so we are happy about it because that is desirable thank you very much for being with me for a while